Well, uh, you know, I talked a lot about the hard work and, and preparation our staff has uh, our staff has undertaken. I think there's been a commitment from our players. Uh, you know, you can you can put m much the same as you can put someone in position to succeed on the field. They still have to do the hard work, and so uh, our our team got together early on uh, and had a set of team guidelines. They, by the way, sent to me and my son Mike since we're uh, tier two employees here. And uh, I was told if I, I couldn't pay attention to those things, for example, not eating in, inside at a restaurant, then uh, they love that I'm the owner, but I should sit in the, sit in the seats or, or sit upstairs in a suite and not come down onto the field. And uh, I took those guidelines seriously. And also have to mention there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, randomness and, and I'll say we had good luck, right? Um, so we know there were challenges in Miami. Miami also happens to be a hot spot. You know, we are not uh, in a hot spot right now. So we've had that good fortune. You know, other teams are in more difficult uh, environments, and 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 I think that probably has the most to do with it. I don't. Well, I'm praising our our guys and everybody's commitment. I'm, I'm sure every other team has had a similar level of commitment, and uh, you know that's the, the challenging thing about this disease. I was supposed to come out to opening day in Chicago. You know, I had a, a pilot who had tested uh, negative in early July, followed every protocol, every testing, uh, every temperature check. And I had him tested again, just out of extreme caution. And he was positive. So, and, you know, asymptomatic, you know, it, it's, it's really, a, it's, and it's a challenge in, in our everyday lives away from, there's a lot of focus here, obviously, about what goes on in the field how we can complete a season, you know, how we get through our everyday lives. My, I'm very blessed to have my mom, age 92, and uh, even more blessed that she lives next door. You know, I worry about her every day, and, and I know uh, several others. Uh, and, and I've had, you know, I've lost uh, friends, and I've lost friends' parents in this uh, these few months. And, and so um, I'm trying to balance my natural optimism with uh, realism.